Hey everyone, welcome back to Error Genie. If you're having trouble installing KB5046732 on Windows 11, version 23H2 or 22H2, don't worry, I've got you covered. In today's video, I'll show you some simple steps to help fix this issue and get your update installed successfully. Let's get started. Step 1. Start the App Readiness Service Press the Windows key and type Services in the search bar. Click on Services to open the Service Management window. Scroll down to App Readiness in the list. Double-click App Readiness to open its properties. Set the startup type to Automatic, then click Apply. If Start is highlighted, click it, then press OK. Try to update Windows 11 again. If it still doesn't work, let's move on to the next step. Step 2. Move the WinReagent folder Open File Explorer and navigate to this PC then C Drive. Look for the WinReagent folder. If you can't see it, click on the View tab and check the box for hidden items. If the folder is there, right-click and select Copy. Paste it somewhere safe, like your desktop. After creating a backup, go ahead and delete the WinReagent folder from the C drive. Now go to Windows Settings and try updating Windows 11 again. Once the update completes, restart your computer. After restarting, you can move the WinReagent folder back to its original location on the C drive. Step 3. Run the Windows Update. Troubleshooter open Windows Settings, then go to System, then Troubleshoot. Click on Other Troubleshooters. Under Most Frequent, click Run next to Windows Update. Let the troubleshooter finish running. Once it's done, restart your computer and check if the update works. Step 4. Restart Windows Update and Background Intelligent Transfer Services. Press the Windows key, type Services, and open the Services window. Find Windows Update in the list, double-click it, and set the startup type to Automatic. Click Apply, then Start if it's highlighted, and then click OK. Right-click Windows Update and choose Restart. Next, find Background Intelligent Transfer Service, Bits. Double-click it and set it to Automatic. Click Apply, then Start. Right-click on Bits and click Restart. Now try to update Windows 11 again. Step 5. Use the Windows 11 Installation Assistant copy the link provided in the description and open it in your browser to go to Microsoft's official site. Download the Windows 11 Installation Assistant. Once downloaded, run the .exe file and click Yes when prompted. If there's an update available, you'll see the Install or Update option. Click it and let the process finish. After installation, restart your computer and check if the update works. Step 6. Use the Microsoft Update Catalog. Open the link in the description to visit the Microsoft Update Catalog website. Search for KB5046732 or the update you need in the search bar. Depending on your system, you'll see versions like Windows 11, 23, H2, X64, or 22H2X64. To check your system version, go to Settings then, System then About, and scroll down to see if you have 23H2 or 22H2. Once you've identified the correct version, click Download next to the update you need. After downloading, double-click the file to install it manually. Restart your computer afterward and check if the update installs successfully. Step 7. Reset Windows Update Components. Copy all the commands provided in the video description. Open Notepad and paste the commands into the document. Go to File then Save As. Name the file wfix.bat and select all files as the save type. Save it to your desktop. Right-click the wfix.bat file on your desktop and select Run as Administrator. Click Yes to allow the script to run. It will stop the Windows Update components and perform a few scans. The scan may take some time, so be patient. Once completed, the script will restart the Windows Update components. Restart your PC and try to update again. Step 8. Use the Media Creation Tool. Visit the link in the description to download the Media Creation Tool from Microsoft's website. Click Download Now and run the .exe file. Once it loads, Click Accept and choose Windows 11 as the version to install. Select ISO file, then click Next, and save it to your desktop. After the download completes, go to your desktop and double-click the ISO file. 
run the setup.exe file, and follow the on-screen instructions. During the installation, you'll see an option to keep personal files and apps. Make sure this is checked to avoid losing data. Click Install and let the tool update your system. Once done, restart your PC and check if the update installs. That's it. One of these methods should help you successfully install KB5046732 on Windows 11. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Error Genie for more troubleshooting tips and guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.